to be quite frank, in 1989, I don't think I'd have, I'd have been in the running for a star because I was lost. I didn't know what I was going to do with my career. I'd had one or two things that hadn't quite worked. And suddenly, Disney saved me. And I also saved Disney, by the way. But, <laughs> but there were some really, really generous people who signed me up, reasonable deal, and invited me into the family, and I had a great time. I've been very lucky in my choice of composers, if that's the right word, starting with the great Lord Lloyd Webber back in 1965. That's quite enough applause. Uh, he wasn't actually a lord when I met him, but he was a very, very talented young man and remains a major force in show business today. And without him, I certainly wouldn't be here. And then I've been lucky to work with people like Alan Menken, Bjorn and Benny from ABBA, Bjorn Olveus and Benny Anderson, and the great Sir Elton. An honorable and modest man whose achievements are beyond measure. He almost single-handedly brought the words people sing down to earth, from unrealistic libretto to real and moving conversation. He's one of the greatest lyricists working today, and no one deserves this star, this ultimate Hollywood honor, more than he does. Congratulations. Thank you.